Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. Today's topic is about counting missing variables in an observation after at least one non-missing value. Now let us try to understand by looking into the example below. Now let us quickly focus only on two observations that is observations related to 002 and 003 ID. If you see here, we have five missing values, but they come after at least one non-missing value. So the total of missing values is five. Whereas in the case of 003 ID, we have four missing values, but they do not come after a non-missing value. So we will not be using this in our count of non-missing values but we will be using only this value for count of missing values and let's also quickly look into 004 id here also we have total seven missing values but we are going to ignore these first four because they come even before at least one non-missing value and we are only going to count 1, 2 and 3 as our total number of missing variables for this particular observation. Now let's quickly create our data set and also proc print it and see our sample data set in here. Now sample data set is all set. Now I want to quickly discuss the strategy how to solve this problem. Actually strategy is not very difficult. The firstly what we do is we find the total count of missing values. Now again for this let's take the example of id equal to 004. So what are we going to do here is first we are going to take the total count. The total count of missing values is 7. This we can easily get from cmis function. And secondly what we will do is we will use a SAS array to find where a we have a value. Where we have a value is easy to do again. What we will do is we will loop through each of this variable that is from var1 to var12 and we will check whether the value is a non-missing value or not. If it is a non-missing value then it has to get out of the loop. So we will look for the first value. It is not non-missing value. And second, it is also not a non-missing value, means it's a missing value. And same is the case with third and fourth. But fifth is a non-missing value. This is where we are going to stop the loop and leave out of this loop. This again we can simply easily do with leave statement. So that now we have find our first non-missing value. What we are going to do is we are going to do minus one. If you see here at fifth position, I was able to get a non-missing value. But if you see the missing values, what I have is four only. So pi minus 1. So 7 minus 4. This 4 we got by first getting a non-missing value here and then doing a minus 1. So here 7 minus 4 equal to 3. And if you see in here 3 is our exact number of missing values that we are looking for. Now the strategy I have discussed I have kept in the form of a code. Here if you can see, for finding total number of missing values, I have used CMIS of var1 hyphen hyphen var12. So instead of making all, instead of saying var1, var2, var3, we can mention all the variable names by using of var1 hyphen hyphen var12 which means that starting from var1 to var12 is a part of 
the variables on which we are going to apply this cmis function and also what we are doing is here we are creating an array i have made multiple videos on arrays i would not be going into the details of concept of array but i will briefly discuss about it for more information please look into my sas array playlist and one of the important video which i have made on arrays i will give in the description below so that you can look into for more details about the concept of arrays now let us briefly try to understand how an array works we can define an array by using array keyword followed by array name followed by number of variables which we call as elements in the parenthesis here i could write something like 12 because there are 12 variables in here but to make it more flexible i can also write a star so now what we have done is we have written our array keyword array name followed by number of elements or star followed by a dollar symbol to indicate that all the variables here are character variables and also here what i am going to write is var1 to var12 i can write var1 var2 var3 var4 and so on so forth till var12 but we can have a shortcut which is var1 hyphen hyphen var12 now i want to tell you an important point all of these variables in here are known as elements and we can access each of these elements by just using this array name when i say my var1 i am accessing var1 when i say my var2 i am accessing var2 so and so forth so how i am going to access all of these variables and check what i want to check is very simple i will be using a do loop in this do loop i will be going for my var 1 to my var 12 how i am going to do that i can simply write do i equal to 1 to dim my var that is i am applying dim function on my var and this is going to make it 12 so in this fashion i am first setting it up my do loop in this do loop i have index variable i this stores the iteration number let's get back to that point in a second but here in the do loop what we are trying to do is we are saying if not missing my var i means when the loop is 1 i am checking whether this particular variable is missing or not if it is missing then i am saying leave the loop now let us try to understand this whole of thing by couple of observations which i have pasted in here first let us look for id 005 in the do loop the do loop starts from 1 it is checking if not missing my var1 then leave as it is missing it will not leave the loop so now the i moves to 2 again the same scenario i moves to 3 and i moves to 4 once i moves to 5 that is my var5 we are accessing our var5 here we have a not missing value because in our condition we have mentioned if not missing my var i then leave that means once our i becomes 5 it will come out of the loop for this particular observation so i will be 5 for this particular observation and in the case of second observation the loop again starts from do i equal to 1 but what is happening in here is for very first iteration that is when our i is 1 we 
are exiting the loop because it is not missing value. So here i is 1. If we closely look into this data, we see a pattern. So we are able to capture first non-missing value location. In this case, it is 5, which means we are totally having four missing values because fifth is a non-missing value. So in the code to capture the missing values, what I have done is i equal to i minus 1. I am resetting this number back and saying to do minus 1. Here I am saying i equal to 5 minus 1, which means I have four missing values. And here I am saying 1 minus 1, which means I have no missing value in the beginning of my row, but I am starting directly with a value. So once we are able to capture the missing values in the front, that is before starting any non-missing value, now we are almost close to finding our result. To sum it up, till here, what we are trying to achieve is to find number of missing value before a non-missing value starts. Now that we know number of missing values before a non-missing value, all we need to do is subtract it from total missing values to get our result. Now let us try to understand this concept again with these two observations. We have calculated total missing values by using CMIS function. For this particular observation, it will be 6 as there are 6 missing values. And our i value here is 4. Because we do not want the values before a non-missing value, we are going to do 6 minus 4 and our answer is 2. That is what we are achieving in here. Now, I also want you to look into one more observation before we wrap up this talk. Here, for observation which has an ID of 006, our i is 0 because we did not have any missing values in the front. So what we are going to do is we are going to do a total underscore miss minus i. Here my total miss is 5 and then I am going to do minus 0 and it is going to give me 5 missing values. Now let me run this code quickly and give my conclusions. Here I am selecting my code and quickly running the code and also I have proc print below so that it also prints my data. I think I also need to create this data set first before running my other piece of code. Here I have created my data set. Now I need to run the remaining part of code where we have done all sorts of manipulation. Now I am also proc printing this data set and here you can see that the number of missing values are as expected. As you can see 2 and 5 missing values for ID 005 and ID 006. Now I would like to conclude. With the help of CMIS function and concepts of array, do loop and leave statement, we were able to successfully count number of missing values in an observation that come only after at least one non-missing value. That's all for this topic. If you have liked this topic, please give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe. Thank you.